Hey folks, Perry here. Welcome to this post-mortem of the Timurid Pol um, yeah, Poland campaign, which became Commonwealth versus Mughals. This was the uh, grand campaign of EU4 between T Kev and I. And, uh, well, we just wrapped it up. 97 episodes. That's, that's a long time. you got to really like someone to, to play to play a video game that long, especially when you consider well, how much of it Kev was blindingly ahead. Um, I don't say that as a to knock on the game or or anything else. It's just that for once, Keb got going. He just got going. So let me keep this short and sweet. I won't, don't want to ramble on forever because I really can if I if I want to. Um, I just things that I learned. One, it's good to help your friends because had I not intervened early in the Timurids existence against that gigantic. Ottoman Russian invasion they were facing, the there wouldn't have been a Keb. This would have been a much shorter shorter example. And well the, the peoples of Asia would have either been free or Polish. But uh, turns out they ended up being Mughal and Hindi. Um so that's I mean the first big takeaway is that it's you, how dramatically with a little bit of intervention can change the course of an entire game. The um I guess the second big one on the whole thing was I needed to be way more decisive in breaking the personal union that formed over formed between me and Austria. One, I should have worked harder to avoid it from happening in the first place. Lots of more marriages, etc. Uh, marriages with weaker countries in particular. So at least if the personal union formed, it's not with a behemoth it's hard to break away from. And also to... Oh, too conservative, too timid. I'm not sure which word exactly worked. A bit of a coward when it comes to breaking out of it. I should have done it just early. But uh, I never could gauge the time being right, so I just sat on it. Um, I think I overall did fairly well with Poland. I mean, towards the, the late game there, I well, I needed significant funding from the Mughals, but I'm coming to realize I don't fully understand the economic side. I mean, Keb's strategy was absolutely brilliant. The way he completely bottled up Asian trade and and ended up just you know making gold by the thousands per month. Yeah, he's, he basically being able to build manufacturers across the whole breadth of Asia is just terrifying. And uh, I need to go back and you know, study that more. I think. Um. Other than that, I probably should have beaten up on the Holy Roman Empire more. Um, the Northern Brandenburg Plain is something I probably should have annexed more. But it is what it is. I, I don't know what I do wrong with wars where my manpower gets too low. I think I really need to look into using more mercenaries. Um, Getting more of a mercenary regular split if I can afford it, but uh, that goes back to the economics. Eventually, I'll figure that out. Of course, with the new with the new uh, the new expansion dropping on the eighth, not the eighth. I'm sorry, on April sixth. Um, who knows then? I mean, the rules apparently changed quite drastically. I, guess I think it's April sixth. Some place in there. Um, might be a Thursday though. Oh well, yeah, it's. Whatever day that Paradox actually puts it out, they've they've always had a horrible time with their with their uh, DLCs. I mean, this time they're at least in Steam. Traditionally, the DLCs show up in Steam at some point between never and whenever they feel like it. No, oh, it's right there. It says April sixth. Not for sale yet, which is you know, a nuisance. Is what it is. So, to sum up, um, I need to learn more on economy. I need to manage my, my manpower better. So I'm very poor at it. Um, I, helping friends is good, but if you help Keb, just be aware that all of Asia will fall to him. And other than that, I, th I don't know. The technical glitch. Oh, the technical glitch. Yeah, before I, I wander off here completely. That I do apologize for, too, those last four episodes where... On Keb's side, you should have got it, but somehow I screwed up my mic. I've got a, a uh, what I consider a fairly nice setup for being just a hobbyist. But for whatever reason, that particular time it goes into, I use a piece of software called Voice Meter as my first filter, and for whatever reason, 
that stopped transmitting to my local OBS client, which then collects it and and then uh, saves the raw the raw data that I then break down. The whole time we had that clicking sound going on, and I thought it was something from from Kibsai. That was my software, uh, well, my software failing. But uh, but anyways, that should be fixed now. I mean, if you're hearing this, it's been fixed, and that's for the future. Uh, anyways, as always, um, hit like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this particular playthrough. Um, Want to encourage more. Kevin and I are falling a bit behind, but Paradox has a number of games all queued up for expansions, so we're likely going to be on hiatus for multiplayer until that ends. Um, and if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, things you'd like me to see or do, then just drop them below. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you for uh, viewing this playthrough, we, you know, even if it's just bits and pieces here. And uh, yeah. keep on enjoying things. See you later, folks.